Yo, what's happening everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be talking about that brand new announcement from Niantic. It looks like we're going to be getting a world ranking system as well as global trainer battles in Pokemon Go. Now this is going to be happening next year, so it's not something that we're going to be seeing immediately, but this is something that I'm extremely excited about, especially when it comes to Pokemon Go PvP. This is something that I've been wanting for the game for such a long time pretty much since the beginning this is what could save trainer battles could make it relevant again and it looks like Niantic is listening to their community and they're going to be implementing this stuff into Pokemon Go I'm gonna be talking about it in detail I'm gonna be giving my thoughts regarding this whole thing and if you end up enjoying this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if it's your first time here and don't forget that little bell for notifications for whenever I upload a video and yeah, if you want to support the channel financially, I highly suggest you go and check out my Patreon. A link to it is in the description below. It definitely helps me out a lot. It definitely builds up this channel. Check that out if you enjoy my videos. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Oh wow, so I was not expecting this announcement. It looks like Niantic has been keeping their ears to the ground when it comes to the community feedback, especially when it comes to trainer battles. And it looks like they're going to be finally giving us world rankings as well as a global competitive system. So I'm super excited about this. I don't know if you've been watching my videos for a long time, but with trainer battles, I, that's kind of been my problem with it, that there wasn't like a world ranking system that, you know, if you're doing trainer battles with your friends or with random strangers, there should be some sort of merit system aside from just getting items. And this is something that I've been wanting for the game for a very long time. And of course, we've had some sort of ranking system just through third parties, like with the Silf Arena, and that has just taken off. A lot of people enjoy that format and I'm happy to report that when I was looking through this new system, it looks like it's going to be something completely different from what the Sylph Arena has been doing. So these two things could stand alone, which is really great because the more that there's their diversity in competitiveness in this game, I think it's healthier for the game. So Sylph Arena will still be around, I suspect, but this is going to be something completely different and completely separate. And it's something that I feel like I would gravitate more towards. But in any case, let's read through the news post so we could just kind of comment on it in detail. So here we go. Coming 2020, Go Battle League. So this is coming in early of next year is what I'm suspecting. Maybe this is kind of like a teaser and they're going to be releasing more information as we go along. It's kind of like what I'm getting at, but it's not coming until the year 2020. Now we don't know if it's going to be the early parts of 2020 or if it's going to be somewhere near the middle, but this is coming in the year 2020. And I suspect they're going to ramp it up as soon as it drops so that they could use it for their world's tournaments and different things like that. But in any case, yeah, trainers, battling has been a core part of the Pokemon universe since the very beginning. We're excited to announce the development of a feature that will build upon trainer battles, the current form of player versus player battling that exists within Pokemon Go. This feature will be called Go Battle League. Now I'm really interested by this, mainly because if you think about the Sylph Arena, if you think about the Pokemon League that exists in the current mainstream games and with the trading card games, this seems to be following its own little thing, like like go battle league like this is something that I've noticed with Pokemon Go that they just add the word go next to everything that's to their version like with team go rocket and different things like that so I'm all for it I like the idea of them just distinguishing themselves from what else is out there in the Pokemon franchise but let's continue like many Pokemon Go features go battle league will encourage players to get out and explore the world within Pokemon. Trainers will be able to walk in order to earn entry into the Go Battle League. Now, this is something that I found to be very interesting. So, one of the things that Niantic was probably trying to avoid was having this sort of gameplay mechanic where you just sit at home and just grind it out at home. They really want to emphasize the idea of going out into the world when it comes to Pokemon Go. And I'm all for that. It's part of what makes Pokemon Go so enjoyable and why I'm 
kind of against spoofing in, in a way because I just feel like it kind of takes away that core experience. And I'm not against spoofing for the sake of spoofing, but I'm against spoofing in the fact that people who spoof are kind of ruining their experience with Pokemon Go. But that's just more subjective and it's besides the point. Let's continue. So, yeah. So, trainers will be able to walk in order to earn entry into the Pokemon Go Battle League, then battle opponents from around the globe through an online matching system, and rise in the ranks of the league. We hope this feature will make the Pokemon Go battling experience more competitive and accessible to more trainers. Go Battle League is slated for release in early 2020. Okay, so I said earlier that we don't know when it's going to be, but it looks like it's going to be near the beginning of the year. So that's a good thing. We'll be sharing more details in a special Dev Insight video soon. Stay tuned, trainers. So yeah, this is a straight up tease. We're not getting any kind of direct info regarding what this is going to be. All we know is that it's coming in early 2020, so within a couple of months, and it's also going to be global, which means you know it's going to have its own matchmaking system, kind of like with other competitive games like Clash Royale. You're basically going to be able to cha challenge basically any trainer around the world, which I like. And I really hope they have some nice MMR systems that are not broken, that you know, if you're going up in the ranks, you're going up against like trainers that are at the, around the same rank. So you're not gaming the system, you're not exploiting the system. And I'm wondering what they're going to do about spoofers. I know I brought up spoofers earlier, but I actually think it's pretty relevant to this whole online matchmaking system. Will spoofers, will multi-accounters, with will people who use scanners have an advantage? We just don't know yet. I mean, you could argue and say that some of these players do make their way into the self arena even though those players are vetted that you know they might have an advantage in those places as well but at the same time those players still have to go up against other players who are just as skilled if not more skilled with the same pokemon so yeah i don't know it, it might just correct itself out it might be uh self-regulating in some way but i'm really curious to see what niantic ends up doing when it comes to spoofers multi-counters and scanners now, as I mentioned at the top of this video, something that I really like about this system, at least with what we have so far, it looks like it's going to be completely separate in terms of format, in terms of different things with the Sylph Arena. And I really hope for the people who are at Sylph Arena continue to do the Sylph Arena because that has been very successful and there's definitely a niche for that kind of gameplay. A lot of people like that tournament format, they really enjoy that kind of community aspect of it. And I really think this sort of model has worked for a lot of other competitive games. Like if you think about League of Legends or you think about Counter-Strike, like a lot of these games that have esports, they have their primary, you know, worlds like official from the developer tournaments. And they also have third party tournaments like from MLG Gaming and different things like that. So you got to think like with the Sylph Arena, it's very similar to MLG, right? Like Major League Gaming. It's kind of like a third party version of like this competitive format. And I really like the fact that it can coexist with Pokemon Go's official tournament format. I think when it comes to Sylph Arena, what makes it so successful is the fact that a lot of players, it, it really drives home the point of community. So a lot of players players who gather at certain places at certain times it kind of makes it like an unofficial second community day and I really like that aspect of it you're not really gonna find that in an online matchmaking system with a world ranking a lot of players will want that community experience and they could only really get that through the Sylph arena so I really hope these two things just kind of work off each other that so for someone like me who doesn't really necessarily like the community aspect of PvP like I don't want to schedule out a time out of my week in order to go to a place and spend four to five hours to do a PvP tournament depending on the number of people. It could be an all day thing and that's a huge commitment. I'd rather do a ranking system within the game on my own time and my own merit. This is something that I was personally looking for. Of course I am different from a lot of players. A lot of players would rather have the Sylph Arena format and that's great. That's why I hope both of these formats 
will continue to exist and continue to evolve. Niantic has been doing some really good work when it comes to some of the features of the game. Of course, they've had some stumbles here and there over the past couple of months, but I do put a lot of faith in Niantic. They've had a pretty good track record over the past two years, so I really think they can knock it out of the park. Now, I really wanted this sort of feature to exist from the beginning, mainly because a lot of players were wanting something more competitive with trainer battles as opposed to it being just kind of like a pinata for random rare candies and stardust and sinnoh stones but you know i really think this could bring a lot of players back into the trainer battle scene i know a lot of players who don't necessarily care for the sofa arena like myself but there's a lot of people who are super dedicated to pvp and i don't know what this is going to do for them maybe they'll just continue on with the sofa arena or maybe like me they'll just transition over to this new format who knows but i really hope this is something that drives a lot more engagement with pvp in pokemon go i really think it has the potential to do that anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about this announcement has it invigorated a desire for pvp in you or are you still apathetic towards pvp i was talking to a few people that i raid with yesterday and it seems like for people who don't pvp they're going to continue not pvping but for people who do pvp this is pretty exciting so i would love to know your thoughts definitely share them in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe if it's your first time here. I am Count Jinsula and I'll catch you all later. Hey guys, before I leave, I have to give a little bit of a spiel. I mean, when it comes to the YouTube algorithm, it's extremely difficult to gauge how successful you can be on YouTube. Like, there are some times where I have a ton of views on my videos, and there are some days where I just have no views on my videos, and it really comes down to the YouTube algorithm. And there's a lot of times where I get dinged for some of the songs that I pick or some of the footage that I show, and unfortunately, it's because YouTube's copyright system is a little bit broken. But if you want to support this channel financially I highly suggest you check out my patreon a link to it is in the description below your support definitely helps me out and it helps support this channel because I would love to crank out more videos and increase the quality and for that to happen I do need your help so definitely go and check out that link and yeah big shout out and big thank you to all of you for supporting my channel I hope you enjoyed this video everyone if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe if it's your first time here and don't forget that little bell as well check out the links in the description below i'm count jinsula and i'll catch you all later